U.S. Commerce Secretary Wilbur Ross is in Beijing with a simple message, buy more from us. His two-day visit with Chinese officials, who've also been jetting to and from Washington, is aimed at trying to reduce the U.S. trade deficit. That means China selling far more to the U.S. than it buys. The Trump administration claims this weakens the U.S. economy, fueling tensions that have threatened an all-out trade war. China has pledged to import billions of dollars more in U.S. goods to reduce the deficit. Just this week, it announced that starting in July, it will cut tariffs by more than half on nearly 1,500 consumer goods to boost consumption of both domestic and imported products. But if increased Chinese consumption helps, another dispute over intellectual property is unresolved. Trump is threatening additional financial penalties against Chinese tech firm ZT over trading violations after banning U.S. supplies from trading with it, part of a wider grievance over the transfer of sensitive technology between the U.S. and China. But at least these two countries which drive the global economy are negotiating with each other at the end of a week in which the U.S. opened up a new trade battle on multiple fronts. It's imposed hefty tariffs on metal imports from Canada, Mexico and Europe to protect jobs here in the U.S. A reminder that this administration's priority right now is looking after itself. Owen Fairclough, CGTN, Washington.